So I'm gonna be transferring $40,000 into my Robinhood account by the end of the week and I'm gonna turn that into $100,000 by the end of the year by investing in the stock market. And the first stock we're gonna be talking about today is NEO, the electric vehicle giant based out of China. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, you know, do all that fun stuff. Let me know what you guys think about the format and let's get right into it. But before we continue, I do have to say, if you guys are brand new, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because I want you guys to join the ride. You know, in this channel, I'm going to be really transparent. I'm going to show you guys the deposits, the profits, the losses, and basically anything that comes along with, you know, the ride to $100,000. But anyways, to get it out of the way, today we're going to be talking about NEO, and I do have 92 shares at an average cost of around $56, $57. I'll put it on the screen so you guys can take a look at that. So I have some shares in my Weeble account and then also on my Vanguard in my Roth IRA. But I am planning to grow that at the minimum to 200 shares for a long-term position. And, you know, we'll get into how I'm going to do that in a second. But before we get into that, I do have to talk about the format of the video. So again, you know, definitely let me know what you guys think of it. If you guys like it, I'll continue to make them. If you guys don't, maybe I'll go back to the old one. Uh, but anyways, the format, uh, the first section is going to be what is Neo. The next section is going to be any new information that has been presented that week. Uh, this week was a little slow, but, you know, we'll get into that later on. And also, so I'm going to be showing you guys or not showing but telling you guys my critique about the company the stock the third section is going to be institutions price targets any updated price targets etc and then also what I expect the price to be at the end of the year uh, you know that's gonna be my opinion and then the last section of the video is gonna be my plan you know what am I gonna do am I gonna buy am I gonna sell am I gonna hold that's gonna be the last section so without further ado let's go on to the first section of the video so the first question is, what is NIO? You know, what is life? Uh, so to answer that, NIO is a Chinese automobile manufacturer headquartered in Shanghai, specializing in designing and developing electric vehicles. Their products include the ES6, and that's actually an SUV, and that is their bestseller. They also have the ES8, the ET7, and the EC6. One of the things that differentiates them from other companies is their battery as a service. Uh, this is pretty much a monthly fee. You know, it's a subscription-based model that instead of, you know, buying the car, the entire car with the battery, like you would a Tesla, you can just buy the car without the battery. And as a result, you know, it's less pricey for the consumer. It attracts more people. And in theory, you know, this would lead to more sales. But, you know, we're going to see how this goes. And some of the words that they use to describe this is it's chargeable, swappable, and upgradable. So you definitely want all three of those. Now, as I'm recording this video, NEO is sitting at a price of $61.95. And it also has a market cap of $96.574 billion. All right, so that was a little quick info sesh. If you guys learned anything new, you know, let me know in the comments. If there's something new that I missed, you know, definitely let me know as well because, you know, I'm always learning. Now for the next section is any new information slash critique. Now, this week was a little slow. You know, there wasn't really anything that came out that's new that's going to affect NEO stock drastically. But we did have an analyst from Nomura, which is a financial institution. He came out saying that NEO is still a buy even after Friday's closing price of $61.95 and that we can see at least another 30% run. Now, his two main reasons for this projection is number one is growth and number two is batteries. You know, since electric vehicles haven't really hit the masses, especially in China and also here in the United States. But, you know, we're talking about, you know, NEO uh, in China, they haven't really hit the masses. So I can definitely see when buying an electric vehicle might become more popular. And I mean, especially and I mean, I really do think that this is going to happen, especially with China providing, you know, different incentives to newer buyers. And he did also provide a statistic saying that by the year 2025, 16.5 percent of new cars sold in China should be electric. And this implies that there's going to be a 31% annual growth rate for the industry, you know, for electric vehicles. And obviously, it's going to be more for companies such as NEO that are kind of at the forefront. You know, they're paving the way. They're one of the top electric vehicle manufacturers. And I honestly do believe that because if you see their numbers, you know, in the past two years, they have grown over 100% each year. You know, I do expect to see that, you know, maybe it's not to the same extent. You know, I'm not expecting that. But I definitely do see, you know, exponential growth over the next period of years. Now, his second reasoning is pretty simple, and that is batteries. He's basically saying that, you know, once we have this, uh, this is going to be pretty game changing. We're going to have swappable batteries and this is going to reduce range anxiety. It's also going to lead to shorter wait times, which, you know, obviously, you know, any customer would want. And this is going to help bring in more customers and as a result, you know, lead to more sales. Now, with that said, he did put a price target for NEO, but he didn't really specify a day. So, you know, do take that with a grain of salt. You know, it could be tomorrow. You know, if, if NEO went to $80 tomorrow, I would be a happy guy. Let's just put it that way. Now, for the critique, there's definitely a few things that I do want to say, but I'm not going to just because I don't want to 
to make this video too long but the biggest thing that i want to see is cheaper cars now the reason that i say this is because it's definitely going to attract a greater demographic you know a lot more people are going to buy if you know they can afford the car and this kind of reminds me of tesla you know when they were just beginning they were selling pretty pricey cars but as time progressed you know they became more affordable and i do see that happening with neo you know right now they're a little bit on the pricier side but as time goes on i do think that they're going to fall in price and i do think that they're going to become more readily available for the masses and if we just compare when these companies began, you know, Neo started in 2014 and then Tesla started in 2004, you know, so definitely Tesla has that edge, you know, when it comes to, you know, how long they've been producing cars and how long they've been established in the industry. All right, so that pretty much sums up the second section. Now, the third section, I'm going to make this a little bit brief because the price targets are kind of similar. Now, JP Morgan did update their price target from $50 to 75 And we also have an analyst from Bank of America who assigned Neo a price target of $70 and a buy rating. We also have Ben Wang, a price target of 71 and a buy rating as well and edison from Deutsche bank assigned neo a price target of 70 dollars and a buy rating as well all right so those were the price targets from those institutions now we're going to move on to the last section of the video which is my plan and you guys might be saying are you going to buy are you going to sell are you going to hold and the answer to that is I'm going to buy and hold. So I'm going to buy some more shares of NEO. Right now I have 92 shares like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. And I want that to be at least, you know, 200 shares. And the plan is I want to get to 130 shares this week. And I'm just going to dollar cost average. Buy, you know, maybe five here, you know, five tomorrow, five the next day, etc. And if we do see any major spike downwards, you know, I'm definitely going to add a lot more. And, you know, definitely go above 200. So that is the plan. I want to make sure that I dollar cost average and make sure that I get the best price for these shares. But when it comes to price points if you guys get at 60 and you guys don't have any shares of neo definitely buy some there the next price point where i would add on is 55 dollars. that's what i'm gonna do and then the last one is 50 we might not ever see 50 but you know if we do manage by miracle to see 50 you know add some there as well now for me personally i'm gonna buy these throughout the week and obviously i need to be smart about you know when i enter if it's too high I probably won't now i do want to say like any other stock there's also risk so do be aware of that you know have a plan do your own due diligence have a thesis stick to that thesis unless anything negative comes out what am i gonna do and let's make some profit but with that said i think that pretty much sums up the video if you guys have any comments questions or concerns love stories let me know in the comments section below but with that said twice again let me know what you guys thought of the format leave a like subscribe if you're new and see you guys in the next video peace out I, I, there goes the